Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a topic that I was super concerned about in my early pregnancy. And essentially what happened is after I had, um, you know, taken a pregnancy test, confirmed I was positive, taken several, um, I actually decided to test about five to six weeks um, in pregnancy and I got a fainter test line than control line, a lot fainter than my strongest test lines had been when I had tested consecutively after I got the first positive. And um, the reason why is something called the hook effect. So if you're freaking out right now, um, I saw another girl do this test on YouTube. I had to try it for myself and also share it with you because I didn't feel like there was a lot of information and people answering this question. So basically what's happening um, is that the HCG levels are so high that it's not giving you as strong as a of a positive as it was before when the HCG levels were actually a little bit lower. So um, I was really concerned. I had miscarried. I didn't have any other signs and symptoms. I could not get into a doctor for a pregnancy confirmation. So I was just getting really anxious, especially when I like, I was like, you know, I'm just going to test, make sure I still have that strong positive. And it wasn't. I was just like freaking out, did the research. So you can definitely do this test yourself at home. Basically, I don't think she showed the urine in her test, but basically you are going to um, pee in a cup. You're going to do one, just the full strength urine, which is going to be this one. And then one you're going to dilute. So I literally did like um, four parts water, essentially. It doesn't need to be exact. You're just diluting it. So four parts water, one part urine, and What's fascinating is that the diluted urine is actually going to have a stronger test result. So I did this test a couple times and right now I'm a little bit farther along than when I first did this test, but I'm going to show you guys the results. Um, I'll actually put the test strips in just so these can get going while we're waiting. Um, so this is the diluted one. One, two, three. And then just lay that flat and hopefully you have some cheapy Amazon strips. I've gone through like a million of these and um, they are really sensitive. So link these down below. Um, here's the full strength. One, two, three. And I'll put this one on the back side just so we can keep track of them. While those set, I'm going to show you, so I actually, ugh, I got a little water on that one, but I did the test twice. So, okay. So I'll put a closer up photo. The first time I did it was actually worse than this. So this one, I don't know if you guys can see, but the test line is definitely not as strong as the control line. And this one isn't even that bad. The one I did is this one here and I actually got some water on it, but it was like, half as light as the control line. And I was really concerned. Then I did the diluted urine and the test line was actually darker than the control line. So crazy science experiment. Um, I was really reassured. I hope this video reassures you. If you have some test kits that have the actual line and don't just say like positive negative, you definitely do this yourself. Um, so these are getting going and I'll probably just do a scroll over photo for you guys if you can't see this, but the, um, this is so weird. So the diluted one is way stronger and the non-diluted one is way lighter. So. If this happened to you, don't freak out. Um, do this test so you can reassure yourself. Get to the doctor as soon as you can and um, good luck with your pregnancy. Congratulations. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to hear about, um, I do bi-weekly updates. I'll be doing a video upcoming on like free things that you can get in the mail for your baby if you're an expecting mom and just a bunch of other fun things as I go along in this pregnancy journey as a first time mom. So hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.